Welcome to Citizens Forum. It is Wednesday, June the 5th. I'd like to start by thanking our volunteer crew and the Shaw staff that makes this program happen every couple of weeks. Uh, we're going to start off talking about something that I think is very important. It's called the Green New Deal. It's happening everywhere. Um, I have two guests on at the same time, so I've got to write their names down and read them to you. Taya Weiss-Gibbons and Emily Thiessen. And you were both involved with organizing the meeting that took place here a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was on uh, May 23rd. Okay. We had a town hall um, in Fernwood there, and we had a bunch of people out talking about like what a Green New Deal could look for Victoria and how we could start bringing that happening out here too. Uh -huh. So, I mean, it seems that we don't have to think about it too much, that we need a lot of changes. And the Green New Deal is talking about two things. One is environmental, and I guess it's climate change, but also everything else, I assume, because it's all one big mess. Yeah. And the other one is societal. Yeah. And th what's the societal push or main point if there is, is? I mean, it's a little bit of, we know we have 11 years to stop catastrophic climate change from the recent IPCC report. And the Green New Deal is answering that call of we need to make large scale changes to our society in order to do that. So that looks like, so that's, but we want to do that in a way that's fair and equitable for everybody. So that's no one gets left behind. So that's bringing all the people who are like refugees, oil sands workers, um, uh, First Nations, like everyone who sometimes gets left out of movements like this, bringing them forward into a better future for everybody. Mm -hmm. Like we're going to see radical changes in our society one way or another in the next 10 years, in the next 30 years, and I think the Green New Deal is about making sure that when those huge changes happen, people aren't being like left out of um, a new future that we're making. Basically. And it's also and about... Yeah, yeah. I, I think that is very, very doable. There's mm -hmm. no reason I mean, even when I was a kid, the, well, the gap was like this between rich and poor, yeah. right? And now yeah. it's like this, and, yeah. it's a, and we can go back to this, mm -hmm. and there's no reason it can't be done. Mm -hmm. So part of the meeting, I think, was people tossing out ideas. How, how was the meeting organized? Yeah, uh, so it like, came from uh, the Green New Deal, like in other places, like other countries in the world where it started up they have like a platform of ideals and stuff around that in Canada we're starting to build that up here so the idea of the town hall in Victoria was to get like the community's input on what they wanted in a Green New Deal so things they needed in it and things they did not want in it and so we were trying to so we're trying to build this from like a bottom up way mm -hmm. to give uh, what a Green New Deal would look like for Canada and what a Green New Deal would look like for Victoria Okay, so you had 250 people? Uh, 300 or so. 300 people yeah. show up uh -huh. in a room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when I take a, just the thought of that, I see kind of, <laughs> oh my God, what's happening, right? So <laughs> what ideas did come up? What do people want and what do people not want? And how did the meeting work? Was it, do you think it was efficient and well organized? Mm -hmm. I was happy yeah, with it. Great. I don't know. Great. I think it turned out really great. well. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. The room was so full of energy, especially once people started to see like their ideas, which we put all up in a wall and the themes that were emerging. So, mm -hmm. What were the yeah. themes? Uh, there was a few big things. People want free and electrified public transit. They want a better respect for indigenous rights and indigenous communities. Uh, and they uh, want to uh, deal with the housing crisis. Um, to deal with old growth logging, um, to deal with uh, electoral reforms, so whatever thing they looked at. And it also was no more fossil fuel subsidies, no more pipelines, no more LNG. Um, no more fossil fuel expansion. No sort of fossil fuel expansion. That was the theme we saw probably more than any other theme in the entire town hall that came up the most. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I think those things are so important that mm -hmm. can you just run through them again if you, if you <laughs> yeah. I sort of jotted them uh -huh. down. But, yeah. Uh, you started with free electrified public transit. Yeah, uh -huh. that's, a, that's a push too that's happening in Victoria specifically, which we're seeing a lot of, of trying to get a free transit, free, it's the free transit initiative. Ah, oh, uh -huh. free. Free, yeah, for I don't everybody. Know if I, uh, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I agree with free, but maybe yeah. yes, maybe no, but, but electrified public transit, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it makes you wonder why we don't have it, right? Yeah, so I know. 
it's an it's a it's the best way to move off of this fossil fuel dependence we have for transportation because mm -hmm. transportation takes up so, so much of our like carbon emissions come from transportation in Canada. Well, there's a group working on trying to get the ENN railway going. Yeah. And it would be great if you could link up together because they know that game very very well and, mm -hmm. and you guys have a hopefully a way to get motivate the public. In fact, that's what the public wants. So why don't we have it? You know, what's <laughs> wrong yeah. with this picture? Yeah, it's amazing how many times you hear about the train and still don't have the train, but, uh, and that's the part also part of the Green New Deal is bringing these groups, which are working on different things together for us all to combine our resources and our capacity to be able to build something big and make big changes. So like working with lots of different uh, groups within Victoria to help, help bring this about. Mm -hmm. And as for why it's not happening, it's kind of like as a society, we have this mindset that it's impossible to have a society without fossil fuels, and especially politicians. Like, I think politicians find it um, politically impossible. They think that they won't be reelected if they propose these bold changes. So what we're trying to do is make it that to be elected, you need to be embracing this idea of a renewable energy future that we could have, and to have like, everyone talking about it and imagining the changes that are entirely possible and just building so much public support behind it that it becomes inevitable that this is what we have to do. Yeah, I would agree. Mm -hmm. So, you mentioned housing as mm -hmm. another as another on the list. I mean, once again, you have to wonder, we're the second biggest country in the world. Yeah. We have a population of only 36 million people. Mm -hmm. We have every natural resource known to humankind, and yet we don't have enough housing. Yeah. So, in the capital city, no less, and yeah. BC, and one of the other town and city across the yeah. province. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or if there's housing, you can't afford it. Yeah. So, did any did any ideas come up about about solving the housing crisis at the? If, or I'm sure there was a lot going on. You yeah. may not remember any, but if you do yeah, remember, yeah, there any. there was a few different like there was a lot of like people were talking about how we need more affordable housing, and then this looked in like a few different ways. Like people brought up like starting more co-ops or more um, subsidies into affordable housing, and also just more densification in areas, and that includes like rezoning, so things on the city council level that the city council could do to help change housing rules and how they work here. And then just helping more people who can't afford housing and get priced out of the market back in to this market. Because yeah. we have lots of housing for rich people, mm -hmm. but you have to bring housing for everybody. Right now, like the housing market is running based on what is the most profitable, not on what is best for people who need to live somewhere. So, so how, do we, you know, and how do we change that? Mm -hmm. How do you change it from a system based on what's most profitable for the banks and the developers mm -hmm. into a system that works for the people who live here. Mm -hmm. And I mean, to me, that's the fundamental issue. And I, uh, you know, obviously we, we're going in the wrong direction. I think there are two different answers to that. So one of them is that as citizens, we need to be telling our government, like, this is what we want. We want the government to be responsible to making sure that people are put over the interests of people in general are put over the interests of corporate profit. And then the other thing is that we also have the ability to just make some of these changes ourselves from the ground up. Like we can actually try to build some of our own housing. There are some things that we could do um, just at a very grassroots level. And so what we're hoping to do in Victoria is come from both these angles. So to like pressure the government um, to implement these changes and also to start doing some of them ourselves. Mm -hmm. Logging. Mm -hmm. um, or maybe, maybe before we go on, because the issues, the issues are the issues. You guys are having another meeting yeah. coming up, okay? Yeah, we're having a meeting on June 19th. Um, so it's June 19th, 6.30 p.m. Uh, at the First Met Church. Um, and it's going to be to keep working on things that came up in the town hall. So there was lots of issues which we saw repeated a lot of times, which people were really passionate about. And we want to try and take that energy that people had and that desire for change and funnel it into starting working on these things. So we're trying to get people to come out, uh, even if you weren't at the first town hall, just come out and get working on how to bring about these changes in Victoria. So there's, we're going to hopefully have a bunch of different uh, groups going at the time of different issues. Um, of what we want to like focus on and what we can do here 
to like help build this future we want. So June 19th? June 19th. 6.30? 6.30. At the First Met Church, yeah. which is at the corner of Quadra and Balmoral. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I think what the organization has done is create working groups on some issues. Mm -hmm. What are some of the working groups and what are some of the issues? Mm -hmm. um, well, there's a few different working groups. Um, we could like, we have the Inland Project, which is working on like permaculture and stuff in town here. Okay. Um, there's the Free Transit Alliance, right? Or mm -hmm. is it Better Transit Alliance? Um, there's a Better Transit Alliance and a Free Transit Campaign. Right. Yeah. Two things. Okay. Yeah. Um, there's also. Uh, so I'm blanking. Like we're part yeah. of Rise and Resist, which is a oh, group yeah. that. A lot of what we have focused on is stopping fossil fuel expansion in the past, mm -hmm. which is also part of a Green New Deal. Um, and there's also a group working on, there's like groups working on divestment. Um, there are youth climate strikers. And so there are a lot of different groups working on climate change in Victoria. And we're hoping that the Green New Deal can be a way to bring us together under sort of one unified vision. Mm -hmm. um, I also meant, like, I heard you have an outreach group, a... Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we do. We've kind of, like, in our uh, organizing this, we've... It's such a big task, and we, have, and we have a lot of people who are working on it and wanting to do stuff, so yeah. we've tried to split ourselves up to yeah, very, very tackle good. different issues. So outreach? Yeah. Outreach, um, so that includes, like, trying to get people who didn't come to the first town hall, couldn't come, didn't hear about it, don't feel welcome in those spaces yet. We wanted to reach out to them to try and get them involved as much as possible. Um, we also are uh, planning our future meetings. So we have some people who've been working on like coordination and things like that. Um, we have a media, media team. Yeah. Media team media working, team. yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Is there one to reach out to government and say, what the hell are you people doing? <laughs> Yeah, I mean that's part of uh, the Green New Deal. It's a it's a nonpartisan issue, so it's not specifically uh, for one party or campaign, but it's about forcing all parties to tackle these issues seriously and to make it the biggest election issue. Um, so that, like on the national level, um, that can look like canvassing. Um, to get the vote out for the Green New Deal, get the word out. Um, it can look like public debates uh, on these issues. And also just how when we have these meetings, inviting politicians to come and talk to people and see what people want mm -hmm. and like get the feedback that can be lacking sometimes when you're not listening to the community. Yeah, and I think we had quite a few elected representatives from around sort of the capital region at that event in May. Mm -hmm. um, another thing we're doing, so we're doing consultations right now at the town hall, and we've also invited people to hold kind of smaller versions to ask their like family, friends, or coworkers what they'd like to see in the Green New Deal. And so we're going to compile all of that data to create kind of like a local Green New Deal manifesto for Victoria, um, Greater Victoria, to say this is what we've asked people what they would want to see as part of a Green New Deal, and here it is. And so that's going to be unfolding over the next month or two. And so then once we have that put together, we're going to use that document to hold up to politicians to say this is what your constituents want to see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we're out of time, yeah. but people can get in touch with you. Yeah. How? We have, so if they want to get involved, um, we have an email and we're sending out email lists with information, all coming of upcoming events, things they can do to get in involved in this community so it's the green new deal victoria at gmail.com green new deal victoria yeah. at gmail.com sounds uh -huh. great yeah god help us all you know we, we really we really uh -huh. need to, to we do gotta this. help us we gotta, we gotta help, help us, us all. Yeah. yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. um, so taya weiss gibbons and emily peason thank you very very much thanks to all the organizers who are doing this and thanks to all the people who came out and uh, and want to be part of it it's definitely the way forward. Thank you for watching this segment of Citizens Forum.